Today we want to show you just how easy it is to get started using Avalara to manage sales tax compliance within Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. With this powerful combination, you can manage tax calculation on sales transactions, consumer use tax calculation on vendor invoices, exemption certificates, and the filing and remittance of sales tax returns. So let's take a look. I will start by entering a sales order. I'll open the order entry screen and select my customer. I'll pick an item to sell and add my sales price. As I navigate to the statistics window, I will see that the tax amount is calculated on the order. Once I post an invoice for this sales order, the document will post to the GL and to Avitax. This way, I have easy access to all reporting necessary for filing tax returns or for audit purposes. You can also review the detailed results without leaving Dynamics 365, as I've shown here. Now let's talk about the taxability of products and services. The way Avitax manages ever-changing tax rules is through an association made right inside Dynamics 365, whereby a product or service you sell is associated to an Avalara tax code. When you set up Avitax, you'll map your products and services to Avalara tax codes, and then you'll map your customers to default to Avitax and tax liable for all taxability calculations. You may remember that when I set up my sales order, downloaded software was the product I sold. Downloaded software and many other goods and services, for example, freight, clothing, and food, are taxable in some states and non-taxable in others. So product and service taxability is an incredibly important part of the tax compliance process. And one of the key benefits of Avalara's cloud-based solution is that taxability rules are continually updated within Avitax. So there's nothing for you to maintain you're always going to be up to date. Now let's say that my customer claims to be tax exempt. Avalara provides a full exemption management solution called Cert Capture, where you can collect, store, and manage your customer's exemption certificates. You can send requests to your customers to fill out their certificates online, as I'm showing here. In addition, you can mark your customers exempt within Dynamics 365 Business Central. On the customer record, I can add a tax exemption number and all the transactions for this customer will be exempt from tax. If a customer is exempt in some states, but taxable in others, I also have an option to associate an exemption code called an entity use code to a particular ship to address using the Avitax extension configuration. Notice that I never had to leave Dynamics 365 in order to complete any of these tasks. While we are on the customer card, I want to tell you about address validation, one of the key features of Avitax. Avalara validates and converts addresses within Dynamics 365 to a standardized U.S. Postal Service address. A validated address ensures accurate calculation of sales tax based on the specific address, as opposed to a broad and often inaccurate zip code calculation. And there's no doubt that an accurate address improves product shipment deliverability. You can also validate addresses one at a time or in a batch process. For many of our customers, perhaps what they love most about Avalara is that we can file and remit taxes on their behalf. Our fully managed return service reduces exposure to late filing and other common penalties. And if a state sends a notice about a question on a return, Avalara will manage that process as well. The bottom line is you probably have better things to do than managing the intricacies of sales tax compliance. Instead, leave it to Avalara, where tax compliance is done right.